Welcome back to a Better Life PH. It is the... Actually, I don't know what date it is. It's um, closing in on the end of July, I believe. Uh, so we haven't been uh, here. We were here Friday. Today is a Monday. Anyway, uh, we're doing an update. It's very windy today and sunny, but nice. So there, they've done the concrete here, and so the guys that were doing the filling actually showed up. There's still a little bit left on this level, but the lower level is all complete. And then there, uh, I'm not sure what it's called, but this uh, extra support to the whole block here now, 45 degree angle, uh, just in case, since it's quite a lot of weight that needs to hold up. So. Almost done there. Uh, the house we're waiting on uh, better information about the steel leg. Um, we need to know how many square meters. Uh, we got a drawing that made limited sense, so we're gonna need a clarification of it. Yes. We have uh, plenty of uh, cement, plenty of sea uh, mix, I think they call it. So this is sand and gravel, some sand and aggregate. It's, uh, I think this is the most common uh, way of doing it here for concrete. And this one is moving along a bit. I think they're gonna make the beams uh, before we put the steel leg. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna check. Yeah, I brought a measuring tape today. Uh, level I left in the car, but I think here oh, they just took the dirt from over here, it's not, I kind of want it taken from here, uh, where my sticks are, um, but it's okay, we're only doing it, we're building part now, uh, but yeah, here we're gonna need to remove some soil, long term, to have a trench here for rainwater coming down from above, but yeah, uh, Lolo is still limping. We went to see him before coming here. Uh, he managed to put some fertilizer in his open wound on his foot when he was uh, fertilizing. So, yeah, not good. And we're in the Philippines. Yeah, uh, we'll handle that when construction is done. Anyway, uh, yeah, he's gonna build a second bamboo fence for us. So we have, like, uh, as with the gate down there, uh, we have another area that also goes down like a valley towards the road. So we're gonna put a bamboo fence there as well. Uh, I wanted to see how, uh, how it looked here before uh, we had him do the second one, but it looks okay. The living fence is uh, starting to have some green leaves on it and uh, it's sturdy enough so we'll just have another one I'll go over there and show actually so yeah oops our tiny little house is moving along uh, I want to move out as quickly as possible of course don't have to pay rent and stuff if we don't have to but we still need electricity uh, water tank completion doors windows yeah quite a lot but yeah down there I'm gonna put a bamboo fence uh, not all the way up but just enough so 
uh, people get the idea that it's not free to just walk in. On this side, it's not that big of a deal because it's uh, uh, Anise's dad's land. There's no one living there except Lolo and Anise, and we're gonna have a gate there so they can get in anyway. Um, and the kids, nothing can stop them. On this side, we will need something. Uh, so, Lauren's uncle is looking to sell, and uh, people are using his land anyway, as is, because they have a stream there, so they go there to clean, uh, wash their clothes. Um, and I don't want someone to go up here. It's a bit of a climb, but it is possible, so we're probably gonna have to have. Uh, barbed wire and no trespassing signs in a few different places and then CCTV and solar powered lights with motion detectors and stuff like that. I mean, it's not gonna be too much. Oh, this is just brush now. All right <laughs> uh, But yeah on this other side, it's quite steep down here, but over here through the hill you can walk up uh, I think we have an old video where the family is visiting where we go down that way, but if you can, can't go down, you can probably go up, right? So, prevent that, I don't want... I mean, it's not... it's a good neighbor, it's no issues, but I don't want any problems. We're also gonna... oh yeah, looks nice from here. Starting to look proper. Uh... <laughs> Oh yeah, for those that don't know this rock, um, the backhoe guy was supposed to dig them down into the dirt like this rock, uh, but one of them wasn't done securely, so it rolled down, so they just implemented it into the wall on the riffraff. Um, yeah. Oh yeah, these are white bells something i'm not sure what they call they look like they have white bells on them and they're growing nice didn't take long that's cool this one i planted like two days ago so it doesn't count but the other ones yeah getting uh, growth here that's one good thing about the philippines things grow here sun and water plentiful and the view Always a nice view here. Oh, yeah, it's really nice today, actually. Sweet. Ooh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I needed to get over here and relax a bit. The uh, neighbors in Loraga had a wedding, we think, so they've been playing music and partying for two days. Not that loud. I, I just right side out right outside the window that's the problem but it, it wasn't incredibly loud and they rarely make any noise so Lorlin did go over there 3 a.m. to ask them to maybe chill out a bit but uh, um, yeah no problems Whew. all right this phone looks like it's freaking out it's too hot for it I guess anyway um, yes enough meandering uh, thank you for watching, click subscribe, bells, whatever else you do on YouTube, and have a nice day. Alright, so, uh, continuation. We had a talk, and this door, and uh, including the CR door, the, so this one currently was planned to be 70 centimeters, and the CR1 was 80 and uh, yeah I'm not entirely sure that's what my original drawing was so uh, the architect or engineer or whoever someone changed a bit uh, like they also put a window in the bedroom right there which I didn't want or plan at all I had a similar window parallel to it in the living room that we haven't even gotten to yet but I didn't want it in the bedroom we have a three meter window sliding door there so anyway uh, we will widen both of them to uh, it's gonna be one meter but uh, four inches of that will be or ten centimeter will be a door frame and then so we're gonna have 90 centimeter doors and I think we're gonna do that all 
Okay, sorry, I forgot. <laughs> uh, so, uh, the for the outdoor or not the outdoor CR, but the CR, the second CR, the tiny CR, uh, the door planned not by me uh, was 60 on the drawings. Yeah, I should have double checked that a bit more, uh, which is not happening. I'll go sideways and I'm tiny. Um, but yeah, that's going to be 92 when we get to that. Uh, stage and then here we've been talking a bit and we're gonna have so uh, plastic because I, I refuse metal scene roof going out like two, three meters or something and we'll add a cement a concrete slab and there there will be a slight step down like here so that's what 15 centimeters or something was that six inches or something uh, after that which will be I guess like a meter a meter and a half something uh, and that's where we're gonna plant stuff anyway um, so we'll have like an outdoor patio and then the idea is not gonna be too nice but have like a roll down security gate uh, over the uh, over the sliding door and we haven't decided what to do on this one yet but uh, just to make sure that if we're leaving the place um, uh, no one breaks in and steals stuff essentially and we're gonna have bars uh, by the bedroom or uh, bathroom window as well is the plan uh, Laureline's not entirely happy about the lack of view with the angle she wanted that angle quite honestly that was my plan in the beginning but this soil hasn't been filled in and packed yet so my idea was essentially to have the house start over there and then have a wider angle so we'll have more of a view the entire uh, length of the house but i mean we also have to be able to build it and yeah it's first time building and i could have been more demanding in how I wanted stuff, but she one essentially wanted this to be her the view from the bedroom, and instead the view would be something like this minus the wooden boards. Um, but we will have the good view from the patio. We'll try when we get to the living room to have. Um, either glass going around the corner or a small pole we'll see it's gonna be a while before we get that done and also from the roof so up here it's gonna be a concrete roof and the idea is uh, to be able to uh, sit up there and actually enjoy the area uh, we'll see probably put a couple of solar panels and a star link up there as well but uh, we will see I have lots of plan, but plans, but since it's the first time I'm building anything in my life, LEGO doesn't count. Um, yeah, it's gonna be a bit of build and then adjust, but uh, that's what we're building. Uh, just these two rooms to begin with, and then we add the rest of it in the future. We believe, let's see here, so the living room is gonna, the plan right now is quite uh, small living room, so where I'm standing right here, living room is gonna be like 12 square meters, so it's not big, and then the storage will end around there, and then a meter and a half CR, and then this <coughs> area will be an outdoor kitchen but for now pretty much where the red wheelbarrow is we'll probably put <coughs> sorry a kubo style or bamboo style uh, open kitchen over there so it's not going to be in the way when we want to build in the future so we're probably going to make some cement with the soil here just so we can step on it without being pure mud and then have some sort of tarp or something as cover um, so we can go all the way here even when it's raining without being uh, 
totally wet. So this is, let me see here, I think it's 18 meters from the start of the house, uh, which is small. Uh, I added a lot of allowance for that one. The, yeah, the, the by the concrete pit, that's where the uh, living room ends and then outdoor kitchen after that, so we have plenty of space. We also have plans for this entire area for planting spices, and herbs and tomatoes and stuff that we use in cooking so we don't have to go far uh, to fetch uh, stuff like that. I wonder if we can uh, do pepper as well, that would be cool. Salt we have to buy, but yeah. But yes, so that's the plan. Uh, Mario is off on a meeting, but we talked to his son, uh, and they're good. Um, everything is done uh, per instructions. Just make sure that the instructions are the way I want it. Um, my, I, I should have double checked things more. It's a totally my mistake. Uh, but yeah, here little patty on that time that would be cool I hope we'll see the wind is right now coming from over here so yeah someone mentioned it's like a wind tunnel not really to be honest but it's kind of coming from all over the place um, but the wind is good helps when it's hot it's very comfortable right now though um, so yeah we'll see how it is when it's raining in the wind <coughs> we may have to do something to put it. yeah we'll see we have a sliding window or a sliding door glass door in the bedroom so that should be enough we'll see uh, it's um yeah we've never done something it's uh, kind of hard to predict things so we build and then we see if we did it the right way and then adjust to the good thing is we're gonna be living here so it's gonna be easier to uh, supervise and change things like now it's, I mean, it's not that we're far away, but it's a bit, it's a 25 minute drive and we have other things and yeah, it would be easier. Anyway, want to say something? Uh, I like the view. She likes the view, all right. I, I like turtles, all right. That's the comment we get. Yeah, we like, oh yeah, uh, three of these banana palm trees are most likely gonna be chopped down. <laughs> yeah. That hat is not really made for this. It's uh, too windy for it. But yeah, those bananas are gonna be gone. So we can, uh, we'll, we'll probably wait until they're completely ripe. Uh, let's see if I can zoom in. Yeah, there we go. Nice. We have some bananas there, almost ripe. We already took the banana heart. Hopefully they're not gonna be dotted. Yeah, we'll, we'll um, keep them checked. Yeah, check. yeah. I mean, some are dotted, some are not. yeah. I mean, no one's done anything with these bananas. They just been growing here for twenty five. For twenty five years, some, yeah. Some might harvest, some might not. Usually yeah. they don't because we have bananas all over the place. So yeah, so we're quite yeah. abundant with bananas, so it's not like anyone is really interested. In yeah, every everyone has have bananas. We even offered. Uh, Yesterday or whatever, last time we were here, the banana bunch, the dotted ones, to Loloi. Yeah. Uh, he's he's still limping, but he w I don't think he's interested. I think they have plenty for their piggy. Yeah. But uh, yeah, they're, edible, they're still down there. Oh, the one down there. Well, I know Geo did, but yeah. he's 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 not normal. So. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, that's good. Yeah, but we have we have plenty of bananas, and we we'll, we will we like. I, I skipped bananas for a while, but I think I'll start again. It also had protein powder, so my stomach issues were most likely from the protein powder. Um, I don't need to eat protein powder right now. I don't work out anyway. Should anyway. Yes, uh, too long video. So uh, that's the update for the house build and. Uh, Hopefully we will have uh, beams done and then we'll order the steel deck and then we'll have a roof in a couple of weeks. I hope. Yeah, there, there will probably be another video. You wanna... Ooh, ooh, yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> All right. So, uh, yes. Uh, yeah. Okay. Anyway, uh, that's it for now. <laughs> See you. So this might be a bit loud. The cement mixer is running. Uh, they're just finishing up here. It's not gonna be thick. This looks like two inches or something, but it's not gonna carry a car or anything, just us walking, so unless we gain a lot of weight, it won't be a problem. Uh, and yeah, everything is growing here, but I just want to show my tomatoes. And we have mint. We're supposed to have cucumbers somewhere, but that's disappeared. Uh, but yeah, so here's my tomato plants. Some of them are growing quite well. And uh, she said we had mint here somewhere. I have... Uh, let's see if I can figure out which one the mint is. Someone watching this is probably wondering what's wrong with me that I can't figure out which one is the mint. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Everything is green, so... I know which ones the tomatoes are. So these guys are tomatoes. And uh, they're actually growing quite well, so that's really nice. Uh, it's been a couple of weeks. I mean, not all of them are doing well, but... Yeah. We'll see how long it takes. And yeah, somewhere here is mint. She showed it, and I have no clue what I'm looking at, so... <laughs> uh, her tomatoes... There are a couple growing, one, two, well, two at least, but uh, I went more Western style when planting, and she went pure Filipino, shove it in the ground. I cleared it, like, mini-tilled it and stuff, so I think it worked. <laughs> uh, anyway, we have pineapples as well. Let's see, I see it in person. Oh, there we go. In the middle there, a pineapple. And uh, there you are, pineapple. Got a bunch more over here, but most of them are not going to be visible. And then down by the rock, that's our nursery, so where we split uh, a bunch of pineapples into four pieces to get the sh shoots or suckers or whatever it's called. Um, but yeah, they're still alive, so that's cool. And down by the rock, oh yeah, these are growing well. Nice. Very nice. Alright, we still have water, so that's good. We lost water for a little bit. It was clogged after heavy rain. Um, but yeah, all good. E, big smile. <laughs> yeah. So, probably the... <laughs> the, the guys. Uh, Mari himself is not here, but... Uh, all the all the kids and uh, cousins and uh, nephews and nephew and brother-in-law and son-in-law and uh, yeah oh yeah we need to do something about our septic too Is that, Gio? that looks like Gio yes Is it him yes uh, looks like him no it looks like him Ken I don't think he's yeah I don't know maybe one of them. It's a child. Yeah, they all look as like. <laughs> Sorry, mm -hmm. don't report me. Um, all right. So, uh, any words? No, I, I just checked with my mayor um, which parts are gonna have um, 45 degree angle. Oh, I so think it's gonna be by the curves. Yeah, I think all the ones with rebar is gonna have it. Yeah, but not the not this part because this is um. Uh, shallow or low. Okay. S same with the other side, but the front part, the overview, mm. uh, the center part will the, have um, the risky ones. Yeah. All right. We're just gonna reinforce the floor of bars. Cool. All right. Yeah. We'll leave these guys working alone, yeah. and uh, we'll see. Is this last video for today? I think so. We will find out. <laughs> see you. Oh yeah. Oh, of course. <laughs> All right. Bye bye. So much for the last video. We have lots of stuff to do. That's good though. So, our bamboo fence. Uh, 
we're gonna have a gate but the cocoa lumber is not strong enough so we're waiting for the hardwood that's being used uh, to build to be uh, available and then instead of this cocoa lumber here we'll put that and yeah should be good should be simple then we were supposed to have another uh, culvert here uh, on this side but uh, none has ar arrived yet so I'm contemplating having a couple of hollow blocks just to fill up the side here and then put rocks and stuff on top um, when this road uh, gets concrete which I mean it will happen uh, it's being worked on a few kilometers down the road and they've done some work up not with um, concrete but with building bridges and stuff or start with the bridge but anyway when they do that we'll probably ask them to uh, fill up all our, this little part of our driveway with concrete they're also gonna widen this road so they're probably gonna take some of our land which is why our fence starts all the way over here hopefully they don't need more than this uh, to widen it yeah uh, she is planting uh, we have a oh, she has a bunch of different plants vegetables stuff so uh, we're about to leave but if we bring them with us they'll die so just planting them down here where it's quite wet and uh, they should survive oh we have mosquitoes oh i guess we have mosquitoes down here it's uh, very swampy right here this is something that i in the future have to figure out because i want to use this as like a parking area um or a, a very, one possible parking area but it's very swampy here so gonna have to redirect the water first so i have to figure out where the water actually comes from i think it's about where she's standing right now or sitting that's it's almost like a little spring so i think there's water coming in from underground and from all the way up and here are electric poles so we're waiting uh, for the wire to be live and then this apparently is going to be installed just hiding them in the bush for now and there's some extra uh, f from the fence we can probably use use some of this on the next fence uh, that we're building we'll see it's not expensive it's just uh, 80 per length and I think a length I'm actually unsure it's like 10, 5, 5, 10 meters or whatever. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, I could ask her back to scream and that would be annoying for everyone. Uh, but it's not. I think this entire, all the bamboo for it, or it, technically this is not bamboo, it's bamboo-ish. Um, but either way, I think it was the entire fence, let's say a thousand pesos. So what's that, 20 bucks? Um, and that's including uh, the gate or the material for the gate and the gates being is going to be built when as mentioned we have the wood for it available we might buy more hardwood but uh, since we're not entirely sure how much we have that's being used for building forms for the house and stuff uh, we're just waiting and there's no rush right now uh, but yeah, we're gonna need a gate. I mean, the gate's not gonna stop anyone that really wants to get through, but it's uh, a good indicator that we don't want people to trespass, and uh, that's usually all you need. Um, but yeah, so that's hopefully now the final clip. <laughs> so uh, yes, see you again. Bye bye.